G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. And today, I've received some mail from Sam and Tanya, and they've sent me a gold specimen, and a few other, a few other rocks, and they want me to cut and polish, and turn the gold specimen into a piece of jewellery for Tanya. Yeah, so, um, I'll just show you what they've sent me. I'll set this up here. I'm doing this um, in between the rain. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a um, a wet day today. A wet, miserable old day. Yeah. Anyway, Sam and Tanya. This is their channel, that's their channel name. Fat Bastard Prospecting. So, if you don't know them, check them out. Um, they find a lot of gold, those guys. Here's some of the rocks. Here's a few of the rocks that they've sent me. So I might be able to cut these up and create something out of them. Just some stones that they've picked up whilst they were out prospecting. Yeah, and um, if, you, if you don't know Sam and Tanya, just check out their channel because they prospect in the West Australian outback and they find heaps of gold nuggets. And this is the, this is a specimen that they've kindly sent to me and they've trusted me with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it into a pendant for Tanya, and then I'm going to post it back to Sam and uh, to post it back to Sam and Tanya. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's what they've sent, and that's what I'll be doing, guys. So in in this video. I'm going to work on this specimen, this gold specimen that they've sent me. That That's the whole um, idea of this video, is to work on this specimen. Yeah, I think it'll turn out really nice. I'll have to cut the back down, cut the back so it's flat, so it sits, sits properly. Yeah, and then I'll, um, I was thinking of maybe shaping it into a heart, doing a heart shape, but I'm not too sure looking at it because most of the gold is at the top of the stone. I don't really want to. I don't want to do anything to the top there. I'll, I'll just shape all this quartz. I'll cut it away and shape it. Yeah, maybe I, I might do like a an oval shape. Might be good. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that's what I'm up to in, in this video. So stay stay with me, and I'll show you the process. What I do and um, I'll drill a hole in the top, glue in a bale and all that sort of thing. Yeah, from start to finish. Yeah. Okay guys, cheers. I'll be back shortly. Okay, here's the stone and I've got to grind the back down. I've got to grind that down so it's flat. Okay, that's what I've done so far. I've sort of cleaned off the back and I've shaped the edges. That's the shape it's going to be. I'm 
Okay, now I've got to put a dop stick on the stone. I just put the stone on the hot plate just to dry it out. That will allow the, the wax to stick to the stone. There's a stone on the dop stick. Next, I'll be grinding the face. I'll be grinding that face. I'll try not to lose any of that gold on the top there. Okay, here's the stone so far. This wheel here is 80 grit. That's the coarsest wheel, 80 grit. This second wheel here, you can see that. This wheel here is 320 grit that's a bit finer and next I'm going on to the polishing wheel this one here that's my drill that I set up and I've got these little these velcro backing um, sanding pads they're diamond diamond sanding pads so I'm using those now to polish up, to put a polish on the stone and I'll be starting with 1000 grit. Okay, I've gone through all the grits. From I've gone from 1,000 through to 6,000 grit uh, to polish it. Next, I'm just going to give it a light buff, and that's it from the for the front. Then I've got to take it off the take the stone off the dop stick and drill a hole in the top of the stone. Okay, I'll just give it a light buff, guys and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. There's the stone. And I'll put a little divot at the top of the stone there. I'll put a little divot in there. Next I'm going to drill it. Drill a hole in it. And uh, yeah, that, it's not a real clear picture here guys because I'm inside the shed. It's poor light. So basically I'm just going to drill the hole into the stone and then I'll be gluing the bale in.
Okay, I'll drill a hole in the top of the stone where the bale's going to go, and now I've got to dry it out. So I just use a dryer, not a hair dryer, because I don't need a hair dryer. This is just one of those heat guns you use for um, when you're stripping paint. And I've got to be careful, I don't put too much heat on it because it can crack the stone if, it's, if it gets too hot. But basically I'm just getting a bit of hot air up into that hole that I drilled just to dry it all out so that the glue bonds. That's pretty much it guys. I'll get back when I when I make the glue up. Okay, so there it is, that's the bale all glued in. Uh, I use aridite, just five minute aridite, but I'll leave this overnight to cure. Uh, leave it overnight for the glue to cure. Yeah. And basically basically that's it guys. And then I'll give it a once it, the glue's dried tomorrow morning, I'll give it a light buff. And that's it. And it's all ready to go back to Tanya. Okay, I'll see you at the wrap up. Well guys, wasn't that cool? And um thank you very much, Sam and Tanya, for sending me that specimen and all those other rocks. I appreciate it. Uh, awesome, yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I'll just um, I'll just give you your channel another plug. For those of you who don't know, Sam and Tanya, this is their channel, Fat Bastard Prospecting. Yeah, get on their channel. Check them out, guys. They're they're a great a great couple. Um, they do a lot of pros prospecting out in Western Australia and uh, they find plenty of nuggets too. They do very well. Yeah, so um, yeah, good on you guys. Cheers, appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna give away something. I've got a couple more of these, these books if you guys are interested. Just, um, just leave a comment. Tell me if you'd like one of these. Yeah, and uh, I'll, I've got a couple of them so I'll give them out. I'll pick a couple of these. I'll just look at your comments and pick yours out. But what they are, the Western Australian Atlas of Mineral Deposits and Major Petroleum Projects. But basically, for us, they're an atlas. They've got all the gold spots, all the old mines and that, all marked in. Uh, as well as that, there's other minerals, lead, copper, um, yeah, silver even diamonds um, and other gemstones. Yeah, it's all, all in this atlas, guys. So I have given a, given a few away before, but I've got a couple more. So if you're interested, leave a comment. And as I said, I'll pick out, I'll pick out the best comments, I suppose, and um, I'll send you one, yeah. So um, they're mainly only, they're only good if you live in Western Australia or if you're from Eastern States and you're travelling over to Western Australia to prospect, they'd, they'd, be, um, they'd be real handy to, to put you on the gold. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it, guys. Yeah, thanks again, Sam, Tanya. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, that pendant's over in the shed. I'm just, I've got to let that glue dry, so I don't want to mess around with it for... Oh, probably another couple of hours anyway and I'll take some photos and I'll put the photos up and I'll just show you the uh, the finished item yeah and Tanya I hope you I hope you like it not in your next video I want to see you wearing it cheers thanks a lot guys take care stay safe out there be good and I'll see you on the next one
Don't forget, put a comment in if you want an atlas.